G'day guys, in this video we'll show another potential consequence of price floors and price ceilings other than the result of a deadweight loss and that is the creation of black markets and we'll show the effect they actually have on surplus. So what is a black market? It's just a market in which goods are bought and sold illegally. Now, a black market can exist for goods that it is simply not legal to buy or sell, for example, illicit drugs, you know, illegal weaponry, other such things. But you can also have a black market where legal goods are sold at illegal prices. So these often end up appearing in response to price floors and price ceilings because there are buyers and sellers who want to trade at prices that are outside the limits given by the price floor or price ceiling, but they're not allowed to. So let's go straight in and have a look at the case where you've got a price floor. Now the perfect example of this is of course the minimum wage. So employees are not allowed to sell their labor below the minimum wage. And the result of this is that we end up getting a excess supply. You've got too many people trying to go out and get jobs, but they're unable to because employers are only willing